thank you for watching. Today's video is going to be a little bit different, but all focused on lipsticks, which is one of my favorite things. Uh, this video suggestion came from Anika on my Snapchat. She sent me a snap and said that she had just watched Dre CN's video on all of the lipsticks that she wore in February. So she did 28 lipsticks in 28 days and she did like a lip swatch video. I, of course, will have it linked down below. And Anika said that she would love to see that video from me. So I went over and I watched her video and I was like, what a fun, cute idea to look back and see what lipsticks you wore throughout the month. So I wanted to do something similar to that. Her video is more of just like a traditional lip swatch video, which is awesome. But you guys know me and I like to talk. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. But I went through all of my videos that I posted in February. I posted 25 videos out of 28 days in February. And I'm gonna talk about all of the lipsticks that I wore each day. I'll also do a swatch as well and then insert the photo of me from that video so you can see what the lipstick looks like on me as well. But I just thought it would be a fun, cute idea. So I decided that's what I wanted to film for today. So if you wanna see all of the lipsticks that I wore in my February videos here on YouTube, why don't we go ahead and get started. So first up, February 1st, I posted a throwback a Thursday tutorial and I was using a lot of like my throwback makeup items so of course it makes sense that for my lip color I chose NYX London. This is one of my favorite lip colors and it has been for a very long time. This is in the soft matte lip cream formula and it's just one of my favorite nudes. It made it into my top 20 favorite nudes video that I did here recently. I really just need to call it quits on this one because I can barely get any product out but there is NYX London again just one of my favorite nudes so uh yeah, of course that one was in there. Another one that made it into my top 20 video, it's I wanted to do this video mostly because I wanted to look back and see like how many of my favorite brands did I reach for? How many of my favorite shades did I reach for? And I thought the list was pretty interesting in my opinion, of course. Um, but this one is the Huda Beauty lipstick in Wifey. This was from my dethroned makeup product video. Again, this is one of my favorite nudes. Huda Beauty has one of my favorite liquid lipstick formulas and Wifey is kind of just like my, my tones right now. I find myself reaching for this one a lot, not even just in YouTube. YouTube videos. Oh good, it's snowing. Not just in YouTube videos, but in real life, Huda Wifey comes with me quite a bit. And then next up, we had a haul video that I did, and I wore a Dose of Colors liquid lipstick. Again, favorite formula of mine. And this shade is in Rosebud. And this one is a really cool, cool toned pink shade. Here is what Rosebud looks like. When I'm just kind of feeling like I want to do something a little bit out of the box, but like not too crazy, I'll reach for Rosebud from Dose of Colors. On February 4th, I posted the one shade in a challenge palette with the Yes Please palette and it was a very like orangey kind of sunset -y look and I paired it with the Fenty Beauty lipstick. This is one of the new Mademoiselle lipsticks and I picked up the shade Up To No Good. I will be reviewing this one shortly because I did pick it up um, in my most recent haul and I have my follow up video on schedule for the next couple of days here. Um, this one is a really interesting color. When I first got it and I swatched it, I was like, you know what? I'm not sure I'm gonna love it, but I, I do like it. It's a really interesting orange color. I know it's not for everybody. I posted a couple photos of me on Instagram and while most people were like, yes, love that color. Some people were like, mm, I'm not sure what I feel about orange lipsticks. And I'm like, I get it. I understand it. But sometimes when you're doing like an all orange look, I feel like it just goes along really well with it. So that one is Fenty up to no good. February 5th, I posted a makeup monthly video. It would have been my January makeup monthly. And I wore Kat Von D Bow and Arrow, one of my favorite lipsticks, staple shades. This one was also mentioned in my top 20 lip video. And it's just interesting to see which ones out of my favorites made it. So there is Kat Von D Bow and Arrow right there. So you can see kind of the first array of colors that I chose in February. So moving on to February 6th, I did the recreating a makeup look and I took inspiration from Babs Beauty and a Valentine. Day tutorial that she did. I didn't have the exact lip products that she used in that video, so I kind of made my own concoction. For my liquid lipstick, I used the Ciate London. Uh, this is their Velvet Liquid Velvet lipstick, and this is in the shade Bittersweet. This came in a Sephora lip set, and I really like this color. It's a really cool, like cool toned. I feel like I always say cool before I say cool toned, like every time. But it's a cool toned, kind of like dark grayish color if you will. So that's what it looks like there. And I paired it with the Buxom Lip Gloss in White Russian. And let me tell you guys a story because I can't find it. And it used to be in a specific spot. I remember where it used to be with my NYX lipsticks. And I have two Buxom uh, lip glosses. I have White Russian and I have Dolly. 
and they were in with all of my NYX lipsticks. And I remember the other day I was rearranging and I thought, these don't belong there. First of all, they're lip glosses and they're high end and they're with my NYX soft matte lip creams. This doesn't make any sense. So I moved them so that they would be in a better location. And now I can't find them. <laughs> I've been looking all over my office like, where did I put those? And because they're both gone, I remember I moved them both. But I don't know where. I even checked my purse just to make sure because I do wear white washing quite a bit. I can't find it. <laughs> and I'm so frustrated with myself. So I'm going to have to really like tear apart my office and figure out where was my brilliant idea to move these lip glosses to that I can't find them. Has anyone else done that? This is why I don't rearrange. This is why I don't organize because then I lose things. I knew exactly where they were before and now I don't know. But that is the lip combo that I did that day. February 7th, I posted a Will I Buy It video and I wore, oh, it just got darker. Perfect. Hold please, let me grab out my ring light. Okay, I'm back. Um, even though it's snowing, uh, I, it apparently got really dark all of a sudden. I get so focused sometimes that I forget to check the viewfinder just to make sure like, can you see me? Am I in frame? Am I blurry? I don't know. And I looked up and it was dark. I was like, whoa. Okay then. Um, but like I was saying, I wore this Kat Von D Cathedral lipstick. These are one of her, they changed names recently, but this one is a Studded Kiss lipstick. I think it's now called like Studded Creme lipstick is her new formula, but this one is in Cathedral. I really like the Kat Von D lipsticks. I like her liquid lipsticks, but I also really like this formula also. And I know a lot of people are saying that they really like the new one too. So I'm excited to give those a try, but there is Cathedral. Uh, let's see, where did I leave off? Oh, on February 8th, I posted my um, the gift card, the $200 gift card, comparing high-end to affordable, and I wore the Ciate London and the elusive white Russian gloss in that video. A lot of times, I will film multiple videos in one day because I post six to seven days a week, and I can't film six to seven days a week, and I do try to give myself the weekends off from filming to just like be in the moment and be with my husband and all of that. So a lot of times I will film two videos during the week. So a lot of times I will change my lip color, but I must have really loved that lip combination so much I kept it on. Uh, and then let's see, February 9th, I posted a first impression video. And the one, the lipstick that I chose in that first impression video is this one from Pixie. This is their Matte Last Liquid Lip and the shade is in Pastel Petal. These, again, I will be doing a full review um, coming up here shortly because I am going to combine my latest haul with this first impression video and I'm going to review all of the items from there in that follow-up video. So my full review will be coming, but there is Pastel Petal. But these Pixie lipsticks are really, really good, you guys. I've been very, very impressed with these Pixie lipsticks and I love that they have a bunch of nude and like pinky nude shades. Beautiful. Uh, next up, I once again on February 11th, I did my March Musings video, which I have another one coming up here shortly. I again wore Fenty Up to No Good. I had a uh, really orange eye look on. I've been really into orange looks also, like I was saying earlier. Um, so I had a very orange eye look from the, I believe it was the Violet Boss hashtag palette. So I paired it with the Fenty Up to No Good because again, I am reviewing it. So I've been wearing it several times um, so I can get my review coming for it. February 12th, I did the makeup style tag and I once again wore the Pixie lipstick that I was just mentioning. That's another one that I think I filmed. Yes, I would have because I did a first impression video and since I did my makeup on there, that is when I will typically always film a second video um, just so I do a video in that full face makeup look. So that is when I wore this Pixie one again. On February 13th, I posted an empties video and I wore the Marc Jacobs Truth Are Bare lipstick. This is called the Lamarck Liquid Lip Creme. I have, this is the only one I have in the Liquid Lip Creme, but I also have the Lamarck Creme lipsticks, not the liquid ones, just the regular ones. Really, really love that formula, but this one is really nice too. And I really like this pinky rosy color. I, I really like a lot of Marc Jacobs lip products, a lot. So there is that one from Marc Jacobs. Sorry if now the swatches look a little crazy because I had to turn my ring light on, but hopefully they won't be too skewed and I should be inserting pictures as well. But that one is from Marc Beauty. February 4th on a Valentine's Day, I posted a Will I Buy It? Oh, that's nice and romantic. I wore a Dose of Colors a combination in there. How many, I think I've worn Dose of Colors one other time and now I have two more products. These are both from Dose of Colors. The liquid lipstick I used was Let's Cuddle. This is from my holiday set and I'm fairly confident that I just saw that those individual shades have come back now. I don't know if it's just on the Dose website so far, if they've made it to Ulta, um, but the shades, like I have been saying, those shades that were in the holiday 
holiday sets I believed were coming back as individuals and I think that they have now which has me so very excited. Um, so this is Let's Cuddle from Dose of Colors. And then I put a lip gloss over it. This is one of their new lip glosses in Honey, I'm Home. Again, I'm going to be reviewing this one coming up here shortly, but I feel like these glosses would go well together because they're both like nude with like a little bit of like peach to them. So there's the liquid lipstick. And then this last one here is the Honey, I'm Home gloss. I will say just like a sneak peek of my review video. I don't really love the gloss which I'm bummed about. I love the liquid lipsticks from them, but the gloss I wasn't as huge of a fan of. So February 15th is when I posted my top 20 nude and pink lipstick shades. And so I was doing like lip swatches in that video, but for the talking portion of the video, the lipstick that I was wearing during then was Maybelline Truffle Tees, which obviously was featured in the video. This is like one of my most old school lipsticks that I love so much. I love the color. I love the Maybelline formula. Um, I'm just really like, this is just one of my favorite drugstore lipsticks, hands down and it has been for like I don't know five years six years something crazy like that but I do love me some truffle teas on the 16th I posted a get ready with me and I tried out this liquid lipstick from lawless beauty this is in George and I instantly fell in love I had to get George out of my purse for this video because I really enjoyed this liquid lipstick formula I just mentioned them in my latest uh, makeup monthly video and I put it in the favorite section I, super long lasting, super opaque liquid lipstick, very comfortable on the lips. I love George. I love this color so much. The liquid lipstick smells like candy, which <laughs> makes your girl happy right here, but I'm very impressed with these liquid lipsticks and they're coming to Sephora soon. I seriously check every single day of when they're coming to Sephora because I want another liquid lipstick for sure. Um, and then on the next video that I posted was February 18th. I posted products I regret buying and I was wearing George again. Again, because I filmed the Get Ready With Me, then I went on to film another video. So I was in the same makeup, so I wore George. But the next video that I posted on the 19th was a March Madness video and I wore a Lawless Beauty lipstick once again. This one is in Dane. I'm telling you, when I tried out that first liquid lipstick from Lawless Beauty, I then wore it. We went out that weekend and I we went out Friday and Saturday which is unusual, uh, and I wore George both nights. That's how much I love George. But for the next video that I did, I went back to a Lawless Beauty lipstick. This one is in Dane. This one is a much more like vampy, um, like really deep wine color. It's really beautiful. And again, like sometimes I get a little nervous with darker lip colors because I feel like they won't look as flattering on the lips or uh, there's just something about darker lip colors that I'm not 100% on, but this looked really good on the lips. Again, very long lasting. I'm really impressed with Lawless Beauty. Um, so it was funny to see Lawless George, Lawless George, Lawless Day, and I was like, okay, there we go. Uh, February 20th, I posted my How Much Does Drugstore Makeup Cost, and I wore ColourPop Beeper. I had, I'm, oh my gosh, even before I started to say this sentence, I got tears in my eyes. Uh, I had a really cool opportunity this past month to work with Ulta Beauty and ColourPop on some Instagram posts. ColourPop is now being sold at Ulta Beauty and I somehow was selected to be a person to help make that announcement. So I got to work with both ColourPop and Ulta and it was a really exciting day for me. Um, it was so cool and thank you guys for <laughs> for watching and supporting and let me have those cool opportunities because to get to say that I worked with Ulta Beauty on a campaign is like one of the craziest things ever to me. Ulta Beauty actually reposted my photo on their Instagram page, which that was such a, I remember screaming and like running out to the kitchen to Mitch who like he'd been so excited for me all day. Um, and he was coming in cause we had to post at like a specific time when he was coming in like, are you ready? Are you ready to post? I'm like, I'm ready, I'm ready to do this. I was so excited. Um, so then to see like I was, one of the girls on the campaign that also reposted, I was like, oh my gosh. Um, but they sent me a package of a few ColourPop items, an eyeshadow palette, the Flexitarian highlight, and then also two liquid lipsticks. And this one is in Beeper, and Beeper is like that old school, like classic ColourPop shade when the Ultra Mats were coming out and everybody was dying over them because they're only $6 and they're a liquid lipstick. I, I mean, everybody lost their minds over these ColourPop lipsticks, your girl included. I did have Beeper from a long time ago. It was probably one of the first ColourPop matte lipsticks that I purchased, but I have since decluttered it. My only gripe with the ColourPop liquid lipsticks is that I don't feel like they have a very long shelf life and I have a huge lipstick collection, so I would prefer to have lipsticks that are gonna keep for a little bit longer. Um, I, I mean, they are really affordable at $6, though. And Beeper, once I put it on again, I was like, yes, 
this was one of my favorite shades and a good thing about the ColourPop um the formula which the formula does change a lot which is pretty frustrating but especially with this one in particular that I just tried out which I'm assuming is a newer formula it really does stay because I remember the day that I did my makeup to take like my photos and stuff for Instagram my husband was home and he asked if I wanted to get lunch I said yes I <laughs> I still wanted to film a video after I'd done all my makeup so I was like well let's go eat lunch before and then I'll come home and film and I was wearing this liquid lipstick and I really didn't want to have to like reapply it so I was like oh I'll just be really good and get a salad and instead I got a burger and I was like yep you're gonna have to do something with your lipstick no it held up it looked just fine the video that I posted which would have been what video was I wearing this one in my drugstore what does drugstore money cost that's what this lipstick looked like after eating a burger I think that's pretty impressive. So this is Beeper. Uh, it's just one of those really cool, it's just one of those like cool shades, you know? I'm really happy that I have it back actually because <laughs> I really do like that shade. Uh, let's see, next up, so I wore ColourPop Beeper. Oh, I wore another ColourPop lipstick. This one was on February 21st in another Will I Buy It video. This is one of the new ColourPop Luxe Matte Lipsticks that came out. I actually got a really cool package from Babs Beauty, another beauty influencer. She she sent me a really sweet package and it had a couple of these ColourPop lipsticks inside which I was excited to be able to try them out to give my review on them. Uh, so this one is, what was this called again? Still Crazy. So here's what that one looks like. These lipsticks, I kind of touched on them a little bit in one of my past videos where I was wearing another one that's going to come up here. But to me, the formula is like inconsistent. This one, even swatching it, like it swatches creamy, but it kind of stays creamy and it kind of has that sheen throughout the day where I don't think it's completely matte. But then another lipstick, again, that I'll talk about in a second, it's like really matte on the lips. It's not too hard to apply, which sometimes is frustrating with matte lipsticks, but it's definitely harder to apply and it's completely matte on the lips which is confusing to me. I actually like this one. I like this color and I like the way it feels on the lips. I like the way it looks. Um, so I don't know, that's just something that's kind of confusing. Who has tried out the ColourPop lipsticks? And did you find that same thing? Like, did you try multiple shades? Cause that's kind of weird to me. Um, but that is ColourPop Still Crazy. On the 22nd, I posted a, oh, my FabFitFun video. Can't read my own handwriting. And I wore this little guy. This is from Burberry and it's the Nude Lipstick. I think I wrote Nude Beige in my description box, but I believe it's just called Nude. I really like these little Burberry lipsticks. I actually have another Burberry lipstick as well that's more of like a regular kind of like a velvet liquid lipstick and I really like that one too they're just really expensive um I think this little guy I think it came in a set actually that I got but there is what Burberry nude looks like it's it's a very nude it has a little bit of brown undertones to it but I do enjoy that one and then the 23rd I posted the four or more tag and I wore another ColourPop lipstick I actually tagged it incorrectly in my description box I realized um the shade that I wore is called humble pie which was that really bright pink. I have another one from ColourPop that's also pretty darn pink, but not quite as like this hot Barbie pink. So that is the one that I wore in that video. And you can see like that one is super, super bright. Hopefully it's still okay with the ring light, but that one is Humble Pie from ColourPop. And this is one that I feel like is just much more matte. Looks matte, applies more matte. So I don't know. It's just, I don't know. It's just weird. That was a really interesting lip color to wear. I had a pretty pink eye look on, like like pretty pink, not like pretty and pink. Like it was a fairly pink eye look and then I paired it with this and I remember putting this on and I was like, ooh, I think that's too pink for me. And then I was like, you know what? Just go for it. Like it's makeup, it's lipstick, have fun. And then of course someone, someone commented and actually said, people might not subscribe to your channel if they see that makeup look. Yeah. Let that sink in. Okay, on the 25th, I posted my gift card guide video and I wore this Urban Decay Back Talk lipstick, which is what I'm wearing today. I love this color so much. I think it's so beautiful. I really enjoy these Urban Decay lipsticks. I mentioned Bun Bun in my top 20 shades video. Um, Back Talk is another one of the comfort matte lipsticks. And again, like I do, I just, I feel like they're super comfortable. They're really flattering on the lips. They are matte, but they're not too matte. They're not like that gross drying matte. They don't make my lips like flake or do weird things. And I enjoy this color so freaking much. It's also called Back Talk and I'm excited for the Back Talk palette that's coming out soon. Can't wait. Can't 
can't wait. Gonna get it. Gonna get it. But yes, Urban Decay back tog, loving this shade. On the 26th, I posted a March Madness video and I wore the Huda Beauty Sugar Mama lipstick. Again, Huda's a favorite of mine. I wasn't surprised to see her twice in this video. I really enjoy Sugar Mama, but I think it's really flattering and really beautiful. I like these Huda minis. I have quite a few of them, but I really enjoy that formula. And then the 27th, I wore, uh, I did my Overlooked Makeup Products video and I wore the Dose of Colors Honey I'm Home Gloss. I wore it just by itself. I did such a natural look that day. I got so many good compliments on my makeup that day. Thank you so much. I was mostly focused on like my skin. I had very minimal eye makeup on no lashes and then I just did that gloss. It's pretty pigmented on its own for a gloss um, but again I think it's just okay. It wasn't my favorite. On the 28th I posted another Will I Buy It and once again I wore Colourpop Still Crazy which is kind of funny. I thought I, that was in two Will I Buy videos. Girl what are you doing? Mix it up. Mix it up. Again I've been trying to try out the Colourpop Luxe lipsticks so I can review them so that's why I wear them multiple times but uh, after that those are the 25 lipsticks I wore throughout all of my February YouTube videos. Okay, so that's gonna be everything for today's video all about the lipstick shades that I chose to wear in my February videos. It was really fun for me to look back on. I wasn't surprised to see multiples of like my favorite brands, um, Dose of Colors, Huda Beauty, uh, Kat Von D was in there multiple times. Yeah, that was fun for me. If you guys like the style of video, do let me know. I don't think I would be able to do it every single month just because I have so many videos out there that I wanna do. Um, but maybe, you know, like every few months or so, I could come back and revisit either the lipsticks I wore maybe the eyeshadow palettes, highlights, I mean anything like that. Let me know if you'd want to see more of these. And again, I will have Drea's video linked in my description box down below. I thought this was a really fun idea and when I watched her video, I wanted to do something similar to it. So make sure you go check out her channel as well. Let her know that I sent you. Leave me your feedback down below and also of course let me know of any other videos that you would like to see on my channel. But as always, if you guys did enjoy this one, I hope that you will give it a thumbs up. I hope that you will also consider subscribing before you go and I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video.